super mini. Tiny. Big. Sig Awards is a global live art battle. Black and white, 90 minutes, freestyle. Today we've got a female collective of artists who will be battling um, a group of male artists using pens and paint um, and no reference at all, just their artistic skills. <laughs> Today uh, we're doing a workshop with Jammer with some audio reactive VJ software. We're going to get them to take pictures of images and things around the galleries that represent quiet and loud. And depending on how loud the signal is, it picks a different image. At Loud Tate today, one of the workshops we have is Melodala. Melodala is an application specifically made for iPads in which you can make beautiful art. We're at a workshop called Badget. And what we do is get magazines, cut them out, and like make a badge out of them. So this workshop is called Picture Perfect. It's a workshop based on caricatures. It's been really good. People have actually responded really well, and I think they just enjoy having a little quiet space to get on the floor and have some quiet time. This workshop today, it's called Creative Flux, and we're building a collaborative sculpture using super mini tiny and big boxes and we're responding to the room which is about 1950s abstract expressionist painting well another workshop that's taking place here today at loud tape 2010 is print club london and what they're doing is they're getting people to sit down and draw like little images they like anything they wish and they are using them to make stencils and make various different pictures and it seems to me like one of the most popular ones today because they've been like packed up all day today. It's cool, yeah, I really like it. It allows you to be creative. It's just good to see the different things that people do and kind of like different people's design thought processes, especially in a workshop like this where there's no limit to what they can do. It's all about creative freedom. We were exploring the idea of, of us reacting to the Rue Britannia exhibition and how we could actually interact with the public. We specialise in photographics of portraiture, which tends to be very English with a dark, twisted sense of humour. The theme of the day is super mini, tiny, big, and we're looking at um, sort of power and democracy. We wanted to turn Punch and Judy on its head. Instead of being puppets on the stage, they are controlling the show. We're actually combining a self-portrait of us with the individual portrait that's kind of collage. Today. Yeah. yeah. Our name is Aclaria. We are a performance art collective. This one was especially done for Tate Loud. It changes. It's always size specific, done for the occasion. It's mostly improvised. Costumes were designed after we chose the paintings and the spaces. We were actually amazed how great response we had from public. My workshop is Miniments. It's sort of a combination of lots of small things to create something that big and collective. What I'm going to do is create a frame and then people can come on and add to it as I build the frame. So it turns into one object. This is Youth in Action project. Four museums, Tate Liverpool, Tate Britain, Giasma from Helsinki and Pompidou Centre from Paris. In every museum, there's going to be an exhibition and an event. The title of this workshop is Blooming Colors. We start to think on this workshop after a controversy in France about the veins. 
It was uh, thinking about how people could use fabric in terms of fashion, politically, or for religion. It's a simple animation about people animating their identities. The two handprints, one to represent the name and however they consider themselves. And then another one, a symbol to represent how they feel they belong. We are making an art piece out of origamis. People who come into the exhibition, they will be writing down their biggest fear into the origami and then add it to the, the stand. It will be a sculpture in the end of the day. <laughs> The people are going to leave their fears here in Tate and we're going to take them out of the country, so no <laughs> Yeah. Music is the highest form of magic in a way. It kind of is a spiritual language that galvanizes lots of people into the same room. So you can see in today's crowd that there's lots of different faces and colours and ages. is a great example of, you know, what happens when like-minded kids get together and create something quite magical.